Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Paige. I make videos every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You should subscribe. And since Thanksgiving was yesterday, I thought that it would be a great idea to talk about gratitude. It can be really difficult to remember all of the things that we are grateful for when we are feeling down. And for me personally, when I am in a flare up of my chronic illness, I forget all of the people, places, and things that I am so grateful to have in my life because I am so focused on my own pain and fatigue. I'm also extremely mean and hard on myself. It can feel odd at first, but once you learn how to practice gratitude, it becomes much easier. Gratitude has so much to do with mindfulness and positivity and they all three of them kind of work together to really put you in a good mindset so learning how to practice gratitude will make you a more positive person and it will help you practice mindfulness as well a great way to practice gratification is to keep a gratification journal or to make gratification lists and you don't just want to say what you are grateful for you want to say why you are grateful for each thing in doing this you can really remind yourself of all of the things in your life that are good and positive and not focus so, so much on the negative situation that you're currently in. In my experience, starting and or ending your day is the best time for this because it really sets your mindset for your day or for your sleep. The next step of practicing gratification is to pass that kindness on to others. It does not have to be a big gesture. You can just call someone up or text them and let them know that you are thinking about them and that you're grateful to have them in your life. You should also pass that kindness onto yourself. Positive affirmation is not an easy thing to do. Being grateful for yourself and loving yourself is so difficult. As humans, we are the hardest on ourselves and we say really, really mean things to ourselves all the time. Something that is really hard for me is to have a conversation with myself in the mirror. In the past, when I've looked at myself in the mirror, I found myself feeling detached and depressed and I get lost in this stare off with myself. And now I try to look at myself in the mirror and tell myself that I'm loved, that I'm beautiful, that I'm strong and not be so mean to myself. Cause some days I look at myself in the mirror and my mind automatically says, you are so lazy. You look disgusting. Why are you still in pajamas? And that's not how I want to treat myself for the rest of my life. There are so many benefits to practicing gratification in your everyday life. The first and most obvious benefit is that it puts you in a lifted mood and mindset. It gets you in the practice of focusing on the positive rather than the negative, and that can change your whole outlook on life. Gratification can give us motivation to get through the day. Tasks and a whole day seem so much less daunting when you have things to look forward to and things to be grateful for and things to enjoy. Life is just so much lighter when you are lighter. Practicing gratification is life affirming. It gives life a purpose. Some people, like myself, sometimes forget what we are living for. What is the point of getting up and making our beds? What is the point of going to school and sitting through a lecture, going to work? What is the point? What is the point of reaching out to other people? And there is a point. The point is to be grateful for what we have and recognize those things while we have them. The point is to go to work and see all the coworkers that we love, to go to school and hang out with our friends. There are points, even if they are so small, that we can focus on. Positive self-worth is another benefit because of that practicing talking to yourself and being grateful for yourself. It, it gives you a new love and appreciation for yourself and having that good relationship with yourself is important 
because you are going to be there for you forever. Okay, so if you're always mean to yourself, you're going to have to live with that forever. That's never going to go away unless you do something about it. You need to learn how to be nice to yourself because that's really the only person you can rely on to 100% be nice to you when you need them to be is yourself. That's the only person's thoughts and feelings and words and emotions that you can control. So do that for yourself. Practicing gratification can get you out of self, which means you're removing yourself from your own problems and worries to focus on someone else, to focus on doing good for others, to focus on positivity. And doing this can give you a new perspective on your own life, on your own emotions. It's not a great idea to compare situations, but helping out a friend in need can make you grateful that maybe you didn't need help that day, or you don't have it as bad as that person, or at least you don't have that going on in your life as well. I don't know, when I, as a chronically ill person, helping others kind of makes me forget about my own pain for a little bit. I, I'm not focusing on how tired I am, I'm focusing on my friend, and that's really, really nice. Practicing gratitude can also give you acceptance of your current situation. Being grateful for yourself, for your life, for everything around you can lead you to acceptance because when you're not focusing on all of the negative things about your current situation, you're focusing on the positives, then you can really spin it in your mind to get to acceptance. And it's all, that, it's all about the, the manipulation with acceptance because you're never gonna get to acceptance if you're focusing on the negative things. So putting those to the side, being grateful, practicing gratification can really lead you to accepting your current situation. I thought I would end this video by naming a few things that I am extremely, extremely grateful for. And that is of course my support system, which includes my family, my friends, my boyfriend, all of those peeps. I am so thankful for my dogs. I'm thankful for my health care. Um, not everyone has health care, and I am very, very lucky to have Kaiser. I am thankful that my chronic illness is not a terminal illness. I am thankful that I can still walk. I am thankful that I can now rely on my cane over my crutches. I am thankful. I am grateful that I have stopped losing weight and my weight has plateaued. I'm thankful for my job. I'm thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for my life and I'm just a thankful gal. That is all for this video today. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope that you can practice some gratitude in the next week and during the holidays. If you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell button so that you are notified every time that I upload on Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Happy holidays and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.